Lucy Harwood. Um, so I've done a little bit of digging around and I've discovered. Ricky Grove. Fog comes in on little cat feet. <laughs> Phil Rice. This is the best film that I've seen all year and maybe ever. Damien Valentine. Use the machinima, Luke. Hello, and welcome to this mini bonus episode of And Now for Something Complete the Machinima. I'm Damien Valentine, and for this episode, it's just myself. Normally, we have a, a big news segment, which we all talk about uh, various machinima-related news, and we've recorded that, but some breaking news occurred just a few days later, and I want to record this just to let all of you know about this contest that uh, I've discovered. And of course, it's a time-sensitive thing, so I didn't want to wait uh, until next month. So... Uh, Kitbash 3D have put together this contest. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, they produce extremely high quality uh, content packs, which are models, uh, mostly buildings and some of the props and other things that you can use in your video games or in your animated projects. Um, that they're, they're themed, so the sci-fi ones, modern ones, fantasy, historic, and, and so on. Now, this one, uh, the contest is called Secrets of the Luminara. And you, what you do is you go to the Kitbash site, you can download the content pack, which is free. And then what they want is for, well, there's three levels of um, contest. You can either produce a, a still image, which would be a render, or an animated video, which I imagine most of our listeners will be uh, interested in, or a video game. And if you're working on a game, well, why not uh, give us a shot? So the content pack is very Indiana Jones or Tomb Raider inspired, it's sort of ruined temples, uh, ancient ruins, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, kind of explorer vibe, there's a strong explorer vibe to it. And they want you to use this content pack. You only have to use one item from it, but uh, it's all matches the theme. So I imagine if you're going to use one thing, why don't you use more of it? Um, uh, so you, you produce something with that content pack and you submit it to them and that's it really now there's some very hefty prizes i am not going to read out uh, all of them um but uh, they range from one year subscriptions to kitbash 3d uh, this is a this is a prize for all levels so the first prize second prize third prize and then there's six honorable mention levels um and so they all get that there's subscriptions to other sites for 3d modeling and uh, tutorials and, and so on and the grand prize has um, included some uh, motion capture gloves uh, a laptop uh, all kinds of other stuff so I suggest you check out the um, thing because they're really good prizes it's worth entering this contest if you can and to make the most of this content pack you'll need to be using something like Unreal or iClone or uh, Nvidia Omniverse I don't know how uh, easy it would be to take this content and put it into a game. Uh, it depends on what the game is capable of, um, really. But, you know, give it a shot and uh, see what you can do. I think I'll be entering this contest. Uh, I'm quite intrigued by um, what I can come up with this, and I hope to see what other people do as well. And of course, we've got some, uh, the judges are worth having a mention as well. Um, got some people from. Uh, Netflix, NVIDIA, uh, CD Projekt Red, uh, Weta, uh, and others. So these are some really uh, impressive judges that they've got lined up for this contest. So that's it, really. I just wanted to let you all know about that. The deadline is the 30th of November, which is why I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible to give you as much time as possible uh, to, to work on your submissions. Uh, so uh, please do enter, and if you do, let us know so we can have a look at uh, what you've created. That's it for me, Damon Valentine, and I will be back with the others next week. Take care.